Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is a Muslim, uh, a response to a Muslim, he sent me a message uh, saying to me, how do Christians worship Jesus? And the Quran says that he used to eat food, him and his mother. You know, always I ask myself, what will make God, God? I mean, can God eat food and stay God? If you say he cannot, that means he is not God too. For Almighty can do whatever he want. Uh, I will I will make it simpler for you, Muslims. Muslims have a problem with uh, uh, what it's called a uh, clean and dirty. Even though their prophet used to take a shower in a in a in a in a water have dead dogs, and let me show you the hadith so nobody uh, will say I'm making things up. All right, because you know the Muslims, right? They will say to you, uh, "This is uh, you are making things up. It's not." Uh, not true, blah blah blah. You know them. They have an issue with uh, with what is a clean. All right. Now read read with me, please. It was said, "O oh Allah, Messenger, shall we use water of bid'ah?" Bid'ah. Is a, is, a, is a dirty well. It's not a well of water, by the way. It is like, let us say, a hole in the ground. And there, there's no water is coming from the, the, the earth. No. It is a water coming from above the ground, which is a dirty water. And because of that, there's no water in it. People, they dump in it in this hole. The following. Uh, rags. Flesh of dogs. And garbage. It's obvious. Uh, and they're asking him, can we do perform wudu there? He said, sure. Not only this, Muhammad himself used to do that. Let me show you. As you see, they are asking him, asking him, you perform wudu, you do ablution, Muhammad. You know, water have dead dogs and women blood from menstruation. And rags and garbage and where is Muhammad Muhammad in the middle having wudu uh, and then the Muslim he keep talking about God being clean and God being dirty I mean your best man he was the most filthy man ever I'm not insulting Muslims look at this and this is why you know uh, uh, ask yourself first why the, the people the Muslims are asking their Prophet why you are doing that because nobody will accept to do this it's crazy they're asking him why you are doing ablution in such a water where according to the the hadith itself i can show you too it says it is like about six foot tall that's it very small very tiny place full of dead dogs women blood from period and the water is stinky and people they are surprised that he is doing that obviously your prophet have a mental issue but yet the muslims they concentrate too much about what is dirty what is clean how god can be dirty how god can be clean so Muslim, they get of they don't get offended when the Quran says that if Allah want to have a son, he is going to have sex with the angel or the or the black eyed women, which means he have a penis and he is going to have orgasm, because obviously he's saying, I can have a son if I have sex and if I want to have sex, I'm going to have sex with the black eyed women and black eyed women are women. They are not gods. So your God is possible for him to have sex with the black eyed woman. You just watch the video I made just yesterday. Go back and see it. Huh? They don't get offended with that. But they get offended if you say that Jesus is God. And why? What the reason? Jesus eats food. If we go in the hadith, we will find there is another hadith here saying, let me show you. Hold on. According to the Prophet of Islam, that Muslims, when they go to heaven, as you see in the front of your eyes, those Muslims, they are going to eat and they are going to drink. All right. And then somebody says to them, and then what would happen to with the food? What would happen with the food? Thereupon, he said, they would bleach and sweat. Hold on, Muslims. What the point of a, of a sweating your poopoo? 
and your piss. I mean seriously, is that will make it nicer or will make it worse? According to your prophet, you go to heaven, you eat, you have sex, and obviously you will have orgasm, and you will have a sperm, but you will not piss. And you will eat like a crazy, as much as you want, but yet you don't have piss and you don't do poo poo. And what happened to your piss? You sweat it. And what happened to your uh, uh, your uh, poo poo is going to come from your skin. And he is saying that this piss and this poo poo is going to be like musk. So Allah will transform the poo poo of a human into musk. Look, look what Allah can do. Even you as a human can make your poo poo a musk. So why you are wondering how God can eat? I mean, this is very weird of Muslims. Can God eat? W why? Well, he is coming to us as a man. Now, can God have sex? He can. But he did not. And Jesus did not. But can he? Sure he can. Why not? You know, when the Muslim they say to us that the Holy Spirit appeared to Mary in front of Mary as a perfect man. Perfect man. All right. How you say that the Holy Spirit became a man? If you ask the Muslims who is the Holy Spirit, by the way, uh, they will say to you it is Jibreel, which is very funny, but we will go with it. Is Jibreel stay Jibreel when he became a man or he changed? To make it, uh, to make it simple, this is chapter 19, verse number 17. It says, so we sent to her our, Holy, our, our spirit and it's appeared to her as a perfect man. All right. So he appeared to her as a perfect man and he announced to her the gift of a holy son. And you can read any translation you want. You know, you don't want to you don't want this translation no problem. All right? So, chapter 19 verse number 17 uh, is a translation you can go and search all. All right? So, when when this uh, uh, Holy Spirit appear to Mary as a perfect man, did this Holy Spirit change? I mean, still still you Muslims call it Holy Spirit? Or it is a dirty spirit. I challenge the Muslims to call this spirit in the Quran, which Muslim they call it the Holy Spirit, huh? Dirty spirit because already is coming as a man. Now, isn't it your prophet he said that Jibreel he come to him and he sit with him and even he eat with him? How come the Holy Spirit in Islam you call it holy? And yet it is okay for the Holy Spirit to be a man with a private part and the penis. As you see the Quran saying, perfect man. You know what perfect man read, right? Appeared, he appeared before her as a perfect man. You see it? Which means there's nothing missing of this man. Perfect normal man but yet the Muslim they call that man Holy Spirit and just a few verses after you will see the Muslims they are calling Jesus a Holy Son well how you say to me that Jesus cannot be God for he eat food and then you Muslims your Quran say that Jesus is holy by the way the whole Quran never said once that Muhammad is holy not even once Actually, the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that Muhammad is a sinner man. Chapter 48, verse number 2. To forgive to you, Muhammad, your past and your coming sin. Alright? To forgive to you your past and your coming sin. So, 
what kind what Muhammad is a person he commits sin in the past as you see here let me make it more clear Allah promising Muhammad to forgive his past and his coming sin open license for sin but in the case of Jesus Jesus is born holy he stay holy and right now he is a holy son of who Muslims have no answer this is son of Mary but there's no man is a son of a woman you see in Islam a woman she don't have the name of the son which means a son he don't belong to his mother the son belong to his father so who is the father of Jesus they have no answer so how you Muslims contradict yourself you say Jesus cannot be God for he is a man and then you say that Jesus the man in your Quran is a holy son and then you say that it's possible for even the Holy Spirit to be called holy even when it's coming as a perfect man as we see in the front of our eyes how come only when we say that Jesus is God you have a problem but you call him holy he is born holy he is right now above with the holy and he is holy because he belonged to the holiness and this is why he is not in the earth why Jesus only is not in this earth in the grave why all the prophets are in the grave Muslims have no answer you want to say to me God have a plan for him to come back well that will make it even more horrible why Jesus is the one who will finish everything you see if you watch a movie huh? I will I will go down to your level if you watch a movie you will see everybody die except who the hero so you are saying to me that your prophet is no one Moses is no one Abraham is no one all those names are no one the only one who will stay alive and he will destroy the devil is Jesus so the question remain is who is Jesus And I think you know the answer. Who is the one who can destroy Satan? A man? A man is a sinner. A man already he been defeated by the Satan. He was kicked out of heaven. The only one he can defeat Satan is the one who is with the nature of divine. Who is holy. Who Satan cannot make him fail into sin. Someone is not a sinner someone your Quran call him holy call him the gift of the Holy Son he is a gift from who even in your Quran he is the gift of God gift to who to mankind not to his mother because his mother she got nothing of him he never bought her money he never bought her a palace he never have a maid for her he never did anything to her she is just a woman like everybody else he is the gift of mankind so ask yourself why all those things is about Jesus why the Quran says Jesus is the one who can be created from the mother bird that make him a creator crea creator why Jesus is the one who can make the blind see not Muhammad not Abraham not Moses the funny by the way the Muslim they say to you Jesus was being given all those miracles because in his time is the time of medi medication the, the time of medicine what what medicine we are in the year 2016 and people are still dying from disease left and heart we are in the year 2016 we never saw a doctor can bring somebody from death after three days what are you talking about and what have you know what this have to do with the miracle of Jesus did you ever see Jesus saying go and take a drugs that is the most stupid answer ever you can imagine have you ever seen Jesus saying to the blind man go drink this water five times a day and come to me after a week from now like your prophet when he said to the man go drink honey huh and then the man he did he, he, you know, he, he kept coming back and his uh, his belly is hurt his, his brother Billy is hurt and the, your prophet cannot heal him what medicine you see how stupid even the answers they copy paste from each other Jesus never used medicine to heal 
So God, he gave Jesus the ability of healing because at his time, it was the time of medicine. What medicine? At his time, the, 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 med the, the medical like was advanced. Why? 2,000 years ago? 600 years after Muhammad, he came and me medical was not advanced? <laughs> I thought a human being is going forward, not backward. So if if Muhammad he come right now in the time of the internet Allah will make internet miracle for him that is very stupid naive answer and all of us we know that Jesus never gave medicine Jesus said to the blind see Jesus said to the man he can't walk walk and he walked he said to the dead man raised from the grave and he rose he did not give any medicine so that is a very stupid naive Muslims copy paste from each other but nobody want to use his brain and yet they believe such a lie that you go to heaven and you eat like a crazy but you will not do poo poo however your poo poo is going to be coming from your skin and your piss will come in from your skin as a sweat as musk that is okay and that is logical for muslims I wonder if Muslims they have tears in the heaven is it going to be their piss or their poopoo? That is very weird. When a Muslim speak to you about logic play for him a song the one is saying is called uh, look who is talking I, I forgot the name I'm not good in songs look who is talking about logic those who believe in crazy things, God will make their penis endless. God will make them sweat their piss and their poopoo, and He will transform the piss and the poopoo into musk. Those are the ones who will teach us about what it could be and what it cannot be. Those who believe that God will increase their sexual power to hundreds of times, those are the people who want to teach you logic. Thank you very much for watching. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And don't forget to read my books if you'd like to learn more. Thank you.